Hello again, civil engineers, and today I'm going to be talking to you about tunneling and a way to predict tunnel lining designs um, using artificial intelligence and machine learning. So if you come over to www.civils.ai, you can come up here to free a set of free calculators. We have calculators for geotechnical applications, structural, but today we're going to be looking at tunneling. So if you come here to tunnel lining AI predictor, when we open this up, what we'll be able to do is search um, across 480 projects um, from 148 different cities, 47 countries to find um, a prediction on a tunnel lining design. So here we can enter a tunnel diameter, let's say uh, seven meters. What we're going to do is then search through the database of construction projects of these different tunneling projects. And we found 22 similar projects to ours, which are seven meters uh, internal diameter. Then what we're doing um, across these projects is searching through the various records, um, pulling out thicknesses, segments, uh, number of segments per ring, ring lengths, uh, the segment taper on each one of these segments. Uh, and then running some checks on segment handling and TBM ram thrust predictions based on um, average uh, ground conditions, uh, which we can later on in the, in the analysis actually optimize. So if we look here, we can see best predictions. So what we're doing here is we're using statistical confidence levels. Um, and we're saying that we have a 90% confidence um, maximum value, 95% confidence maximum value. And you can see here that we're taking an average, let's say, of 340 millimeters, and then a 90% confidence level of 350 millimeters, 95% confidence level of 350 millimeters. Similarly, for segments per ring, we're seeing 10 across the board, ring length 1.5 meters, and then segment taper needed is between 50 to 25 millimeters um, for sort of standard applications. But what we can do here is we can go to view full results and we can actually drill down on this data a little bit more and see how it's being calculated. So here we can see lining thickness. And what we can do here is we can see how this is being calculated. So we can see all 480 of these different projects are being plotted here. And we're using a linear regression to find for a, a tunnel internal diameter of seven meters, what is the average segment thickness is being used across these projects within this group here. What we can then do is we can actually break it down on further project details. So here we have soft ground projects, weathered rock, rock and mixed face. And we can filter through these to find how close is our prediction here to, to the actual, let, let me move my face. Uh, um, how close is the prediction here to the actual um, data? So we can filter this through. So let's turn on weathered rock. We can see for weathered rock, we could perhaps reduce the segment thickness a bit more to meet this line of best fit. And the real power of this is the more projects uh, that we add um, from across the world, the better these lines of best fit will get. And the, uh, more you, the, the easier you can actually filter on this uh, information. So here you can see rock, uh, you know, the line of best fit is, is quite far below the um, predicted segment thickness that we originally generated. So in this case, we could go from say 340 millimeters, perhaps down to something like around 290 in this case. Um, so it gives us a lot of information. And similarly, we do the same for segments per ring. We can filter on information here, um, segments per ring. All of this works in the same way in terms of generating predictions. We're using linear regression across all sorts of things like segment handling. Uh, well, actually we're doing some calculations for segment taper, basing it upon uh, minimum alignment radiuses. Uh, but TBM sizing, again, is, is based on linear regression. And there's a whole uh, treasure trove of different information, including volume loss, fiber reinforcement content, which you can find in here. So I hope that this is useful to you and I hope that um, you know it's free, so make the most out of it. Thank you very much. Uh, goodbye.